so beautiful, Lord. You're awesome, oh Father. Hallelujah. Jesus. Okay, praise the Lord. Okay, so just keep on uh, standing as we call on the praise and worship to uh, lead us in our worship song. Amen. Praise the Lord. If we could give them a round of applause, everyone. Psalms 133 says, Behold how good it is, pleasant, brethren to dwell together in unity. For there's the Lord command the blessing life forevermore. Amen. Are you ready? Are you ready to glorify the Lord? Amen. 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 Okay, hallelujah. Psalms 69.30 says, I will praise the name of God with a song, and I will magnify Him with thanksgiving. Psalms 47, 1 to 2 says, O oh, clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with a voice of triumph. For the Lord Most High is awesome. He is great King over all the earth. Amen. Psalms 47, 6 to 8 says, Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King. Sing praises. For God is the King over all the earth. Sing praises with understanding. God reigns over the nations. God sits in His holy throne. Amen. So, beloved brethren, let's all join our heart, mind, and soul, and let's worship the Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
Lord, I give you my heart, I give you my soul. Wherever you go, truth 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed by, by our worship songs? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, it's really good to be here. And uh, of course, uh, I would like to welcome all of us uh, in this uh, congregation. And as we have our joint fellowship today, uh, I would like to welcome the member church family. As we sing this song, I'm glad you're here. Amen. Amen. Let's uh, go around and, and extend our love and hug to everyone. I'm glad you are here. I'm glad you are here. I want to share God's love with you. our common denominator. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay, so uh, I really would like to uh, open the, uh, the floor for any uh, testimony or witness that you would like to give thanks to the Lord for. You know, we always do this. We would like to uh, give an opportunity for anybody who would like to thank the Lord for the blessings 
no uh, even even rebuke if the Lord rebuke you for, you know for a good reason for the right reason so let's extend our thankfulness to the Lord uh, who'd like to uh, give the first Thanksgiving don't be shy you know we shouldn't be shy in giving thanks to the Lord it is uh, a very good uh, thing for us to give thanks amen there's so many things that we would like to thank just even you know waking up in the morning is a big big blessing already you know to see another day is such a blessing amen so i really would like first of all i would like to thank uh, our memra family uh, uh, who had uh, you know uh, given us the opportunity and uh, it is really a pleasure for us to have you here and again, I would like to say that uh, I hope and pray that this will not be the first time. This is just the start of a really a very good relationship between us. Amen. So I really would like to thank the Lord for that. And and maybe uh, next time we uh, you can you can also do some some uh, singing and worship uh, presentations, as you know. So anything, anything under the sun that will glorify the Lord, you're all welcome. Amen. So who else would like to thank the Lord for? Anybody? Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, sister. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Are we blessed? Amen. Amen. Um, I want to thank the Lord for... Um, blessing the tjf church because i believe that every single member of our church is so blessed by the lord the lord bless each and everyone with individual talents that he's using to expand his kingdom i want to take this opportunity to um thank the lord that um for the 8th of december we're planning to have a uh, christmas charity concert we're planning that at the moment and we're sending out the invitation soon and i want to thank the lord that um all the planning is going well and there's um many churches that uh that said that they're going to be able to perform as well and um come on the day and i want to invite the member family if uh if you are free on the 8th of december i'm gonna ask tita serena to forward the invitation to pastor benedict on the 8th of december we're holding a um Christmas charity concert, so you're welcome to, to attend. Hallelujah. Yes, so that's right. Uh, we will be having that on December 8th, and the family is uh, uh, cordially invited. If you have time, please come and uh, join us. It will be here uh, on the sanctuary. Uh, so it will be fun and it will be great uh, thing for us to really uh, extend the spirit of Christmas. And we know the reason for that season, isn't it? Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. So uh, uh, please, please join us on December 8th, our Christmas carol concert. Okay, so, um, and also I would like to invite you on our anniversary. Uh, that will be the last Sunday of November. So if you have time, uh, please come. Uh, that will be, I think, on the 25th of November. That will be our six years anniversary. So uh, if you, what time is your, your service there? Oh, so a perfect one. If you, no, after there, then come here and have fellowship with us and join us in our six-year celebration. Amen? Okay, so who else would like to thank the Lord for? Don't be shy. On our uh, sister family member, anybody would like to give praise to the Lord? Don't be shy. <laughs> yes, praise the Lord, sister. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah to King Jesus. Let's clap the hands for the Lord. Oh, Jesus, thank you. Ah, I'm just here to glorify the Lord. But most of the time, I, I was praying yesterday for this service. And God 
gave me a prayer to pray for for the service. And uh, when I was praying, after praying, um, my sister, we were praying with my sister and, and the pastor in the living room early hours of this morning. And uh, when I went to the bedroom, my sister fell asleep and uh, I just had um, a thinking of thanking God and ask him as well. Uh, I said, they said, the Holy Spirit said, I must thank God for the lives which survived the earthquake in the eastern side. And uh, to ask God to comfort those who have lost their loved ones. And ask God to protect the Philippines. I don't know why. I usually see things and uh, sometimes I don't talk about them. But this one, as I'm giving a testimony, God said we have to pray for the Philippines all the aisles of the Philippines and we have to fast and pray one day and our pastors Pastor Dogozo and Pastor Zorina will tell us when to fast six to six no water, no food praying for the protection of the aisles in the Philippines uh, that is the number one number two, I'm just thanking God to have you as my family that's a big testimony for me because I cannot know your faces because the work we work, the work we do, make you to not to forget faces. But along the street, someone can come, hi, Sister Deborah, and shake hand with me. So I'm proud to have you as my family. And I'm very grateful for this day. And I'm asking everyone to open our hearts that all what is going to be said, it must not be something we have heard before. It must be something new. And there is a, a song, it says, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my eyes, Lord. I want to see you lifted high, lifted up, and shining on your light as, a glow, as, as you are glorious. Um, I don't want to start to sing, because when I'm singing, I become, I can just go up and down here and end up being mad. I always I get mad about Jesus. And I, I, I praise him to get me and find me. And our church is always giving us a freedom to sing anyhow to praise the Lord. And I'm happy because I'm the same church where the, the singing and dancing for Jesus is being done. Hallelujah. And, I was, and I'm saying like David that I was led when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. That is my testimony to have you as my family, all of you, not my member church, my, my church we visited, just to have you in my life as part of my life. I'm very grateful and that is my testimony. I give glory and praise to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I really would like to to sing that song right now, although that is uh, Pastor Benedict's uh, song. So let's sing the song, Open the Eyes of Our Heart, Lord. Let's all stand up and let's uh, sing, Open the Eyes. Hallelujah. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you, I want to see you, open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of our heart, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, open the eyes. Eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Hallelujah. I want to see you. See you high. To see you high and lifted up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. To see you high. Glory, pour out your power. 
power and love as we sing holy 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 i want to see you open the eyes open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my heart i want to see you. i want to see you, lord jesus i want to see you open the eyes Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. Oh, I want to see you. See you high. Hallelujah. See you high and lift it up. Shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing holy, holy, holy. Holy, 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 you're so holy, 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 I want to see. Let's declare it. Holy, holy, Lord. Holy, 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 you're so holy, holy, holy. Last time to see you high, to see you high and lift it up, shining in the light of your glory. Pour out your power and love as we sing, holy, holy, holy. I want to see you. Hallelujah. We want to see you, Lord. Amen. Oh, glory to you. Glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That was great. Amen. Thank you, sister, for encouraging us to really sing that uh, glorious song for the Lord. Amen. Okay. As, uh, is there anybody more who would like to... Come on, sister. Sing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God because our brothers and sisters and the man of God from Memra Church are here. Yeah, we are a healthy church. We have everything that uh, the God standards is with us. I thank God about, about that. And uh, also I thank God. I always thank God about this. All, all about the miracles that he has, he has done for me. Especially when I got children. Because I was barren for 10 years. And I always remember this verse from Psalm uh, chapter 9 verse 1. I will give thanks to God. I will proclaim the goodness of the Lord. I will sing praise for Him. And every time, every time I thank God, I sing this song for Him in my own tune. Especially in Filipino verse, uh, Filipino uh, version. And uh, what happened, brothers and sisters, because I was barren, we have spent too much. We have uh, uh, gone from every... Uh, known hospitals, known obigaini, known obstetrician, but nothing happened. Nothing happened for nine years. We spent too much. And then uh, I promised to the Lord, Lord, if you, if you give me a child, I will, uh, I will read the Bible from uh, Genesis to Revelation. And I was, not, I was not born again then. I was not born again yet then. And then um, our, uh, my, uh, my uh, father-in-law's friend is a pastor. They always drop by to my house and pray over me and my husband. And then after that, uh, when, while I'm reading the Bible, and every time I was alone in my house, I was singing, 
I was singing to the Lord, asking, asking for, the, for children. I'm asking for children to God. I'm not bored. I'm not bored of asking uh, children to God. And I always sing my prayer. I, I thought it was so effective that I will sing every time. Every time I was alone in my house, every time I've been from the job, eh, even in the toilet, I sing, I sing, I sang praises to God. And then after that, my brother came and uh, from, from Saudi Arabia and he got a friend. He got a friend who is a... Uh, a uh, doctor of general medicine. She's not an obstetrician, and she brought me there. And she, say, and she asked me my history, my history, and then she told me to go to one church and go there. And when we went to the church, to the, to the doctor, I saw she has a notice there, leave everything to God. Leave everything to God. And she told me, she told us to go to that hospital, a big hospital in Metro Manila. And in there, she, they did a hist hysterogram, which is a, you, you will uh, be put a dye in your, I don't know what's, what's the process, I'm not, I am not a nurse, but they called it hysterogram. And uh, when I'm going home, my, my stomach is so aching. And then after, after uh, three weeks, there's, there are changes. They said that uh, my, my womb is black. That's why, that's the result. And then they gave us a medicine, a different medicine. And then when I go and uh, check, to the, uh, to the test, the, in there, I, I saw another, uh, another notice which is the same, which is leave all things to God. And after three months, oh my God, oh Lord, Jesus Christ, I thank Jesus Christ because I got, I got, my, I got my firstborn. I got pregnant. Yes, I got pregnant. And uh, you know Why? While I'm praying and asking to God, I told him, Lord, don't give me an ugly children. Give me a gifted, talented children. Amen. I, I'm so thankful to God. My children are here serving God. They are, can you please stand up, my dear children? They are the one serving God. I nurtured them to peer with God, and I promise God that I will uh, help them to serve you. And now we are serving God. I'm so thankful to God. Glory be to God. To the Lord, there's nothing impossible. Amen. Everything is, is possible with the Lord. Amen? So if there's somebody here who is asking for a baby, just ask the Lord. He will give it to you. you know? So anything, anything, even all the desires of your heart, the only thing is that the, the secret is delight yourselves unto the Lord, and He will give the desires of your heart. Amen? That's what the Bible says. Okay, so anybody more, more who would like to thank the Lord for? Going once? Twice? Twice? No more? Okay, so let's go to uh, one of the most important uh, uh, part of our uh, service. This is the, the tithes and offerings. So uh, as we call uh, our sister Jerry to... Good afternoon, everyone. Hey, this is my first time to stand on this white platform. Um, I have one question to everyone, which is kind of, um, you might say, why, how is it related to giving? But has everyone ever fallen in love in this place? Amen. 
Yeah? Everyone has experienced falling in love with someone, having a crush, and then telling your parents that you have a crush. I hope you told your parents that you like someone, you didn't keep it a secret. And then your parents would tell you, oh, it's just a foolish love. You need to use your, yeah, what's that, what's that connotation? Um, use your head instead of your heart when you're falling in love, isn't it? That's what they would always say, oh, it's a foolish love. This is going, to, you're using your emotions too much in loving this person. But how is it related in giving? In a way, it's related the other way around. You use your heart more instead of your mind. Because at the every end of the month, when all the bills will come, the salary will come in, the next thing you know, in the next three days, it's finished. And then, first Sunday will come, and then, here it goes, your tights. And then your mind will start to compute and compute and compute. Oh, if I give this to the Lord today, I will run out tomorrow. But what did the Lord tell us? 2 Corinthians 9 8. It says here, um, And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in everything in good work. So, what Christians tend to forget is that God provides everything that we need. No matter what the end balance of your bank account says, God provides everything that we need. In every day that we live, we wake up, we take our first breath in the morning, we get up, we go to work, we go to sleep, we have our rest. It's the same cycle as in every day. But no matter how, how much we have, the Lord provides everything that we need. And then on 2 Corinthians as well, 9-11, it says, You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And though... And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. So, how, how do we def- differentiate Christians with other people? Because in every Christian, I believe there's a generous heart. You won't be able to serve. You won't be able to connect with God if you don't have a generous heart. I think that's what separates us in the world as well because the world can be giving any a pagan can be giving an atheist can be giving but I tell you a, a pagan and an atheist cannot be generous because they don't have they don't have the father that is generous enough to give his son in all mankind So, um, let us remember that in whatever we do, we have to thank the Lord. And in whatever happens, and in whatever number that we have in our bank accounts, the Lord will provide as long as we trust in Him. Shall we all stand up and pray, please? Heavenly Father, we are lacking. We are... We are not enough. We are We are not enough for your love. And we are not enough for your grace. But despite that, Father, you you have given us the greatest gift that in everyone can give, which is salvation, Lord. Lord, we thank you, Father, that in everything that we do, in everything that we work for, you continue to bless us, Lord, even though we lack in, in time, in, in giving, 
in our offerings to you, Father, but still you give and you continuously give to us, Lord. Bless bless our bless the fruit of our labors, Lord, and we thank you, Father, that in every day in our lives you we may be cursed for working, but you make it a beautiful gift, Father God, because it all belongs to you, Lord. And we're giving back to you whatever you have given us. And I know we hold on to your promise, Father, that with everything you will give, you will return it back a thousand folds, Father. Lord, we bless you and we honor you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Ready, church? Well, uh, while we are waiting for the man of God, um, we are going to sing a song. Let's sing that song. Um, uh, yung unang kinatanya. What is that song that he wanted? Light of the world. Okay. Uh, let's sing. Let's sing that song. Please stand up. Let's sing that song and let the Holy Spirit come. Come in our midst. He's here today. I know that God is going to do mighty things in our midst. Let's sing that song again. Okay?
up, little noon chats. Are you ready? Amen. Well, allow me to introduce you a man of God. He is a young man from South Africa. He loves the Lord and we are so blessed, so blessed uh, to welcome him at this fellowship. He become a family. He come to us many times and we're so privileged to hear him tonight. So are you ready? No one will go to the toilet, yes? Fasten your seatbelt. Let's welcome Pastor Benedict from Membra Church. Amen. Let's Amen. give him a round of applause. Amen. So it's time. Okay. Right. Uh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just give me a sec. Can I ask the member of the team uh, to rise and sing for me a song that says, uh, um, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reigns. Whilst, whilst I'm getting myself ready. Yeah. <laughs> If you can do that, that's good. Yeah. 